determination, hard work, passion and sacrifices. I think you can't be the best version of yourself every day and I believe that every session or race will pay off at some point. The motivation for me is to be the best version of myself. I think it's always easier to handle wins but I try to not take them for granted and to enjoy the moment. My biggest dream when it comes to sports has always been winning a Grand Slam. I've been very close to it, playing the finals of Wimbledon, so I still have that dream of winning one. travel five years back in time, what advice would you give your former me? I would give my younger self the advice to trust the process more and also to not be afraid to ask someone for advice who's been there or who had a similar path. How about you? I would say that it's normal to have bad days, lows and depths and maybe that after every low there's a high. How important is the right mindset in failure or big challenges? I guess it's very important. If you waste too much energy in disappointment, then it's hard to keep up. Unfortunately, when I was younger, I was very disappointed after losses. So I think the right mindset is very important. It's the key, I would say, to push when you're tired. What do you both have in common? I think that's very easy. We both know what it means to give everything for your sport and to push your limits out of comfort zone. The passion, I would say as well. The fighting spirit. When your opponents are there, you just have to be better than them. What are your differences? <laughs> I would say you're the endurance person. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I think in tennis, um, mental point is even stronger than it is in running. I would need it in running more because I would have to push myself even more and I would have to remind myself constantly. On the tennis court it becomes easy for me. What is the easiest way to improve your mood? That's easy. For, for me as well. <laughs> it's um, a hard interval session or a threshold run out in the mountains where I can leave everything out. What's it for you? I do agree, I do like to do interval runs as well. Nice! <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> because you have to push yourself and you don't have to think so much. Yeah, running is always the best medicine. <laughs> what drives you? Or in other words, what is your R button? Well, my R button is the passion for the sport. I absolutely love the game, uh, otherwise I probably wouldn't have come back either from my injuries, especially the last one. How about you? I guess it's passion and a strong will mm -hmm. and I really love to pace. <laughs> and at the end, what fascinates you about trail running? Trail running is um, many-sided, so it's not just running. You can push very hard in the apple and you feel your heartbeat and your pulse and you have the feeling you left everything out there. When you're running, is it for you peace and calm or do you actually is it full action? I really love to get this runner's high and then I feel totally freedom just being outside. You need to experience this. I'm not so sure. I'll, <laughs> I might try, but <laughs> I'd be exhausted <laughs> five minutes in. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our talk. I definitely did. I got some inspiration from you and I hope you did as well. And if you feel motivated now, you can check out our try running events. And we go and train now. Yes, let's do it. Volkswagen.